7.38 p.m., 3.1 miles underground. Earlier this morning, though, this was shortly after 4 a.m., we had about three nearby each other. The first one at 4.05 a.m., the epicenter of that one south of Silas Creek Parkway near Peters Creek Parkway area, and that was 2.3 for the magnitude, so it was a little bit stronger, and it was less than a mile down, so that explains a little bit more why you may have felt those earlier morning ones, too. So two this morning, another one nearby this evening, and we had the Sunday earthquake reports, too. So at least five since Sunday, pretty impressive. But to put this in perspective, we've got earthquakes happening all across the country all the time. And some of the most recent ones are here in the yellows. You can see the reds. These have happened several days ago now. Others developing here, too. So lots of activity underneath our feet, even if we can't feel it all the time. All right, 29 degrees in Reedsville right now, 28 in Martinsville. We've got you at 31 in Danville as well as 37 in Winston-Salem and those overnight lows near freezing or below we may get you back down into the teens and some of those northern Piedmont spots. We look ahead for your forecast as we get you through your Thanksgiving evening. Here come those shower chances and this is really developing after nine o'clock tomorrow night. We're going to have more clouds. Showers could push east of the mountains but how much is really to be determined because most of this we expect to break up. It's going to be falling through dry air. We then have a chance to see some snow falling on the back edge. So the mountain snow showers that is much more likely at those higher elevations. Some of the peaks could get in some of those snow showers and that could last through early morning Friday, but lifting north up into West Virginia and Virginia. So this may help some of the ski slopes up there. Our temperatures though are going to drop. We're talking some upper 40s for highs compared to your 60s on Thursday. Thursday. So your Black Friday shopping is going to be a cold day if you do plan to shop. You're looking at Saturday temperatures, cold again, 20s early morning. Then we're chilly through the afternoon, at least below normal. We're in the low 50s, we believe, Saturday afternoon. We bring in the clouds. We bring in the next front. This one sweeps in for late Sunday afternoon. Now, this particular model wants to bring in more clouds and more rain than some of our other forecast models. So we've got you mostly dry for now, but adding in a slight chance of a shower or two, especially in the mountains, we could see that wintry mix trying to build in. But you notice how spotty it is that most of that energy is going to be off the coast. This front, though, is going to just reinforce some more wind and keep us cool. We don't expect to see huge temperature drops in, but we'll be back into the 50s for Monday and Tuesday. Overall, just below normal, but at least uh, we will have some sunshine mixing in for those of you who are off. We really could use the rain, but only a tenth of an inch. It's not going to do a whole lot if we even see that, and that would happen late tomorrow night. So most of your day Friday, we've got you drive. Got you at 48 degrees, 54 on Saturday and 58 Sunday. It's a milder day there and in the foothills we do see temperatures at 60 tomorrow as well. It should feel pretty good. 50s and really cold conditions of course Friday 50s and then getting you back up into those upper 50s which is seasonable for this time of the year. In the mountains your temperatures are mild for tomorrow but then we get you down into your Friday morning with a slight chance of a little bit of mountain snow showers less than a dusting we think in most spots if we have anything at all and the Andromeda Galaxy that's going to be visible as we look into the evening sky late tomorrow night and Friday night so something to look forward to also Eden and Ashbury you have your parades Friday night it's going to be cold out there we've got temperatures in the 40s you're going to need your hats and gloves no matter which parade you're heading to this weekend we do have the winds coming up but tomorrow looks like a perfect Thanksgiving holiday Day.